You'll see that I've started up AutoCAD in this particular instance without any current drawings open. I often do that because I utilise a thing called the Startup menu, which is controlled by the Startup variable. Now, I've got AutoCAD set up with the Startup variable switched off, which means that Startup is set to zero. So if that's the case, and I go up here and click on New, what I'll get is a menu that defaults to the AutoCAD template menu. Now for a new user, sometimes this can be a little bit complex because you don't know what these templates do. For a seasoned AutoCAD user though, you would know that ACAD ISO is a metric template and ACAD.DWT is an imperial template. You can use either of these templates or you can just hit cancel and that will just open up a blank drawing. I'm going to open up a metric template in this case and click on open like so and that'll open up a blank drawing. And as you can see, it's a default blank metric template with the grid switched on. So I'll just switch the grid off there. If I type start up now, like so, and press enter, you'll see that the value is zero, which means that the startup variable is actually off. So if I set that to one and press enter, startup variable is now switched on. So if I now close this drawing, save changes no, and now when I click on new, I get create new drawing, and I get the option of opening a drawing, starting from scratch, either imperial or metric, using a template or using a wizard to set up the settings in my drawing. So what I'm going to do is start from scratch here and use metric. When I click on metric and click on OK, that will bring up an entirely new blank metric drawing. I'm going to go start from scratch here and I'm going to select metric and I'm going to click on OK. I'm just starting a blank metric drawing. Now I'm not going to use that drawing whatsoever. The reason I've got a blank drawing open is I need to have one open to use what is called the Markup Set Manager. So it's just a blank drawing that you need to open when you first start up AutoCAD to actually follow along with this particular video. However, the next part of the exercise, you will need one of the files in your working files. And it is there. I've saved it there already for you. It's a DWF file. But we're going to open up that DWF file from AutoCAD this time so that we can see the red line markup that was made in Autodesk Design Review. Now to do that, like I said, you need a blank drawing open. You then go to your View tab here on the ribbon. Now in your palettes here, you'll see this funny little icon here with what looks like some clouds behind it. It's your Markup Set Manager. So you click there, like so. It takes a few seconds to load up, and there it is there. So I'm just going to drag that palette over here to the left. Now, at the moment, we don't have any markups open, so I click on the down arrow and click on Open there, and I need to go and find my specific marked up DWF file. So I click on Movies and Work Files, and what I need to do is find the actual file that I need to work with. So that's going to be in my markup folder. And I go to Drawings, and there's the DWF there that I need. Now, I click on Open. As soon as I click on Open, there's the A3 landscape tab that I plotted from the previous drawing. So you can see there it says 06 Autodesk Design Review Complete A3 Landscape DWF. That will be in your working file, so you can find that file. Click on the plus sign and it shows the actual revision that was marked on the DWF, check dims. Now the lovely thing is I can double click on this layout tab sheet here. If I double click that, that will actually open up the drawing. So I'm now in 06 Autodesk Design Review Complete, along with, you'll notice, my red line marker from Autodesk Design Review. So if I now click here and click on Check Dims, I can then update the status of that markup. If I say it's done and I've checked the dimensions, when I close the Markup Set Manager, that disappears, as if to say, right, you've done that markup, now save the drawing at the next revision, issue it again as a DWF for checking and approval. So what you're getting there, if you're working with Autodesk Design Review and your Markup Set Manager, what you can do is actually have an audit trail. You create the drawing, you send it out for approval and checking. The approver and the checker can use Autodesk Design Review to mark up the drawing and redline it. They can then save that DWF, send it back to you, you open it in Markup Set Manager here, this one here, Markup Set Manager. 
you get to see that red lining from the DWF, update it accordingly, send the drawing out for the next revision. You have a perfectly good audit trail there as long as you're using the appropriate save and save as as you go along. Again, you can work smarter and faster that way, making sure that you keep track of all the changes on your drawings.